one of the millions of Americans planning to take a cruise next year, listen up. Disney Cruise Line just announced the details of its newest ship, the Disney Destiny, and we have Disney Imagineering Creative Director for the ship, Beth Burkhart. She's joining us now from Florida with a sneak peek. So thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me here today. Of course, this is so exciting. The theming on Disney cruise ships is always top notch. I've been on one, they are amazing. So what can we expect to see on board the Disney Destiny? So you know at Disney, storytelling is the heart of everything we do. And what makes the Disney Destiny so unique is for the first time ever, we're sharing the story of heroes and villains with our guests. So we're immersing them in new experiences, new venues, um, first of its kind um, in many of these spaces with the heroes and villains story. So we're so excited about this. So many different Disney stories to tell. Yeah, that sounds really cool. So talk about some of the experiences we can expect in some of the new spaces. Yes, so the moment you enter the ship, you will walk into our grand hall. And so we're calling the destiny our kingdom on the seas because you are going to walk into the space inspired by the world of Wakanda and our grand hall character. We have a character in our grand hall of all of our Disney ships. Um, in this space, it is the Black Panther. So you immediately get this heroic presence of the Black Panther in the grand hall the moment you step on board. And a whole bunch of different heroes and villains will enter the space throughout the cruise. Um, you'll be able to interact with them. Um, the space itself is beautiful. Um, we've got rich colors and patterns from the films um, inspired by the tribes of Wakanda. We've got the vibranium inspiring the Grand Hall Chandelier. And the vibranium is really what helped give the Black Panther his strength. And um, it really will come to life in the Grand Hall. Um, so, you know, as we're having these interactions with our characters that we know and love, um, this sense of vibranium and energy will be in the space too, to bring it to life. That sounds so neat. And Disney has a way, of course, bringing those stories to life on its ships. So what stories will we get to experience and what makes them different from your other cruise lines? Yeah, so it's been so fun to explore the villain side of things for the first time on this ship. So one of my favorite villains, Cruella DeVille, has her own space. So at DeVille's Piano Lounge, um, the moment you walk in, you're greeted with a black and white spotted piano because she loves her spots. Um, and it's a very bold red um, color palette in the space, um, very reminiscent of a Hollywood Regency style. We wanted to find a design style that fit her aesthetic and you know she's like this bold larger than life personality so we wanted to show you know have a little drama in the interiors of the space as well and she's a fashion designer so we wanted to lean into that as well so we get to see a little bit more of her not just her infamy but her as a person as well um so you know some really nice detailing and the furniture and design of the space um, to really make it feel like a fashion designer helped create it I think that's really neat too that you guys are kind of pulling in like a classic Disney movie. I absolutely love that. And the cruise industry has been really strong this year. That trend does not look to change in the near future. So why do you think people love cruising so much? Well, there's something for everyone. So, you know, DeVille's is an adult space, but we have spaces that are exclusively for kids as well. And we have so many spaces on board where families can come together. And at Pride Lands Feast of the Lion King, another classic film I'm so excited that we're celebrating here, um, we're going to have an immersive dining experience, the first of its kind for Disney Cruise Line celebrating the Lion King. And it's going to be all the music you know and love from the film. So I'm sure I'll be singing along um, we have storytellers and musicians in the space telling you all through Simba's journey. So how he triumphed over evil, you know, we have to have a nod to a villain in there as well, but it's really about Simba's heroic journey in that space. So I'm so excited. They'll feel like you're transported to the Savannah. The space is going to transform throughout the course of your meal and the entertainment in the space is incredible. Oh, another great Disney movie. They're all great. So where can we go for more information? Yes, yeah, so make sure you go to DisneyCruise.com. You'll find out more about specific itineraries and stateroom types available. We're going to start bookings on sale September 12th, so just next month. And we will start sailing out of Fort Lauderdale uh, November of 2025. Thank you so much and uh, smooth sailing out there. And if you'd like to see this interview again, everyone, just head to First Coast News Plus on Apple TV, Roku, or Fire TV.